hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i present you a very high quality vision language model or vision centric model called as eagle eagle is a family of vision centric high resolution multimodal llm it presents a thorough exploration to strengthen multimodal llm perception with a mixture of vision encoders and different input resolutions we are going to install this Eagle model on our local system and then we will launch a Gradio demo to see how it works. This model contains a channel concatenation based Clipex fusion for vision experts with different architectures like wit, continent and knowledge, segmentation, detection and OCR. The resulting family of Eagle models support up to over 1000 input resolution and obtain strong results on multi-modal LLM benchmarks, especially resolution sensitive tasks such as optical character recognition and document understanding. They also have a model card on Hugging Face where you can check out various variants of these models which were just released yesterday. We have 13 billion, 13 billion chat, 7 billion and the 7 billion is the one which we are going to download and install on our local system. This is a model card of this um, X5 7 billion and there is a lot of detail around benchmarking and stuff on this model card which you can check out and I will drop the link in video's description. Just to show you a few of the examples as how cool this model is, you see on the left hand side there is an image which was given to model and the instruction or the question which was asked from the model was who is the person in the middle and look how accurate uh, the answer is because the image is not that clear and it is a bit far but still model was able to do that and then even the description is quite good um, so much so that it has uh, said that there is a cardboard with nvidia logo on it and look at the left hand side this is simply amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, and then it was, it is also able to detect that the box has a yellow caution label. This is the one it is talking about. Doesn't seem like a box. It's a server, but still, I think yellow caution label is interesting. So the OCR capabilities are quite nice. Look at this one again. This is quite an um, confusing image. Users are saying, are these two pictures showing the same kind of animal? Now. It says no, the two pictures do not show the same kind of animal. The left image depicts a raccoon and then the right image is red panda, which is not an easy thing to check out. I think I'm going to use this test in my other uh, VLM tests anyway. And this is one of my favorite where it is a user is asking, you are a helpful driving assistant in this scene, which lane should I choose? And the eagle is saying, choose the right lane because it is open. This is the type of utility which these language models are going to bring. Maybe you could just create your own um, dash cam with these models. So yeah. Okay, so enough talk. Now let me take you to my local system. And before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so let me quickly take you to my Ubuntu system. This is where I'm open, running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. It's a 7 billion model, so I would suggest that you should have that much um, VRAM. Next up, let's create our virtual environment. I'm just calling it Eagle with Python 3.10. Let's wait for it to get created. And the virtual environment is created. Let's git clone the repo of Eagle. And that is also done. Next up, let's uh, upgrade the pip first so that it will, it will be compatible and then we are going to install all the requirements which are present in this repo. Now these requirements contain a lot of stuff like torch, torch, audio and that sort of stuff. So let's wait for it to finish because this is going to take a bit of a time. And everything is <clears throat> installed now. Let me clear the screen. Next. Uh, very graciously they have provided this Gradio demo which you can run from the root of their um, 
repo so once you run it it is going to download a lot of models um, also i have just provided it a path this path is where um, it will be placing the model okay okay so it says that i need to provide the repo id of the model so what i'm going to do here let me clear the screen uh, because earlier i had what i had done is i had just downloaded the model manually I, and i had put it in here but it is asking me to either download the model manually or uh, just provide the repo so what i'm going to do i'm just going to provide the path of the repo but i will also show you what i did earlier all you need to do is to just run this command first if you want to download it manually i mean pip install hugging face up let's wait for it that is done next up just type this command hugging face dash cli login and then from there just go to hugging face website and put in your login like this so your login is successful and then you would need to launch your python interpreter something like this and from there you would simply import that is done and next you will just give it something like this and it is going to download the model on your local system okay so it has started downloading so i will let it run and then it will give us a path which we will specify in that gradu demo so let's wait for it to finish because the speed looks good should not <clears throat> take too long so it has downloaded and you can see it has also given you this full path so i'm just going to exit from here and then let's clear the screen and now let me run my gradu demo with the same path and now it is running it is going to download more models from there so let's wait and you can ignore all of these warnings it downloads a lot of wet models by torch models and stuff so let's wait and you can ignore all of these warnings and there you go so the models have been installed and downloaded and also loaded onto our gpu and now our gradu demo is running here on our local host at port 7860 as you can see here so let me open it in the browser and show you and there you go it has loaded it and you can either upload your own image or you could just uh, go with few of their uh, provided up examples like image and prompt so let me select this one to see how what happens so once you click it it auto populates it like who is in the who is a person in the image and then um, the image there is too and there are some terms of use but that is a simple thing so let's and this is the image which she already saw okay so let me run it i'm just going to click on send here let's wait for it let's see how long does it take and there you go it says jen sun hong bit slow inference but it's running locally so anyway so you see how good is that that model was able to detect very very easily amazing stuff now in the next example i have uploaded one of my own image where there is a traffic jam and i am going to ask it uh, what are the traffic conditions on this road in the image let's see Okay, so it has put it in here let's see what it does so it has said that it's an aerial view of a busy city street with cars and buses um okay is it traffic jam or not let's try to chat with this image okay so the model is repeating itself it is not really answering me <laughs> anyway i will leave it there but all in all looks good uh, not bad but i think uh, i have seen better vision language models than this but it can um, still what it can do it's quite good and i think just today i did another video on this new model unto vl which is just 2 billion vision language model and i found out this i can say that this model is better than this eagle model let me know your thoughts what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you